Now, months ago when the Snow White leaked photographs surfaced on the internet of the Seven Dwarfs, or as Disney calls them, the Seven Magical Creatures, that's where things really began to go in a downward spiral for Snow White 2024, also known simply as the live action remake, that really has been going through a lot of challenges, a lot of adjustments by Disney, constant re-edits. Now, that is a part of their plan A that is in the active phase right now. Plan B is to do some reshoots and some, of course, you know, refilming for Snow White, but the SAG strike is getting in the way of all of that, and that is an ongoing struggle. We'll talk about that a little bit later down the road. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And one major update surrounding actress Gal Gadot has a lot to do with Rachel Zegler and exactly why there are rising tensions between the two behind the scenes as well as Snow White director Mark Webb. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but we know that everything revolving around the Disney heads, the Disney board of directors, Bob Iger, the CEO, is that they are really trying to figure out how to market this thing. Now, we know that they spent roughly 100 million plus on the marketing of Snow White, which by the way, is a terrible strategy on their part, a complete waste of funds that are gonna go nowhere. If I were them, I would not pursue this but it is what it is and that's what Disney is doing. However, this is where matters get even worse when it comes to Snow White 2024 and what they actually are doing behind closed doors and what Gal recently did to actress Rachel Zegler. Now, with actress Rachel Zegler dealing with the fallout for Snow White behind the scenes, one major development has to do with actress Gal Gadot and the ongoing tensions behind the scenes of Snow White with Rachel Zegler. A shocking turn of events recently took place behind closed doors where Gal convinced director Mark Webb to move forward with drastic cutbacks on Rachel Zegler's scenes instead of her own sequences as Disney is doubling down on reducing the running time for Snow White. Now, Disney recently gave the okay after much convincing that took place after weeks to finally get the green light from the heads of Disney. Because of Gal being very persistent with her requests, Mark Webb sent in a good word to Disney and that more of Ziggler's scenes will actually be now getting cut instead of Gal's. Also, in a recent emergency meeting that took place for Disney, where the marketing strategy for the Marvels and Snow White were created, Gal, of course, reportedly refused a major request by Disney, and that was to take part in multiple upcoming interviews after the SAG strike ends with major television shows to defend Rachel Zegler and the ongoing Snow White backlash surrounding the actress. Now, guys, let me say one thing about this, is that I'm not defending Gal Gadot at all. I think that she knew openly what she was getting involved with when she first signed up with Disney for Snow White. And she also instigated the whole thing. I mean, we saw her standing right there next to Rachel Zegler. She's not going to be saved by the prince, she says, quote. So she instigated the whole thing. She really kind of pretty much, you know, uh, added fuel to the fire of the whole scenario. So I don't really defend her at least, but one thing I will say about this is that she is at least at the very bare minimum taking some kind of a stand, taking some level of taking a side and really refusing some of Disney's requests to defend Rachel Zegler and the ongoing backlash surrounding the actress and to kind of separate herself from all of that. Now, on top of that, she, like I discussed before, was able to convince Mark Webb through the re-editing phase of Snow White to delete more of Zegler's scenes over her own. So basically what's happening right now is that there's a lot of back and forth going on where Mark Webb is handing down these requests to the editors of Snow White on which scenes to delete and which ones to not delete. And now, Given that Gal is getting more close with director Mark Webb, and she has always been more close with the guy, she actually convinced him to ditch many of Rachel Zegler's scenes instead of her own in the second and third acts of the movie, to be very specific. 
So this has a lot to do with scenes that are either songs or singing sessions or something around those lines that are being ditched for Rachel Zegler. Others of which are scenes involving Zegler's moments with the seven magical creatures. Now, moving onwards here, this is where things get even all the more serious for both Gal and Rachel. Now, we know that the SAG strike, which by the way, may very well be coming, you know, uh, closer to an end. Because there's a lot of negotiations happening today, by the way, so we'll be finding out updates on that tomorrow. We'll fill you in on that, about what's happening with SAG. Uh, tomorrow around noon, so stay tuned for that. However, on top of this, Gal made it openly clear to Disney that she wants no involvement in the Zegler drama, nor does she want to actually defend the comments that she had made that led to Zegler's removal from multiple movies across the board in Hollywood. Gal is also planning to only promote her character and is attempting to separate herself from Rachel Zegler on planned late night television shows for now and for Snow White and has instructed Disney that she does not want to actually be affiliated with Zegler on camera as much and of course how her career is at stake and she is already noticing a bigger challenge with her core audience. This is something that has been creating tensions behind the scenes between herself and Disney and that Gal is in the hot seat for attempting to take a side. Disney has offered Gal uh, other Disney offers, other Disney movies and TV shows and they are now willing to take those actual projects and roles away if she continues to separate herself from Rachel Zegler and the ongoing drama surrounding her. Look, so this is another prime example that Disney wants to use somebody else as a scapegoat or wants to use somebody else as a speaker or as a symbol to defend the ongoing backlash. You know, we know that Disney tends to do this. They can't just do this through people in suits. They have to use it through their actors. They have to use stardom power sometimes. And that's what they tried to do here with Gal. And it's not working. Gal wants no part of it. And so not only did she convince Mark Webb to shoot down a lot of scenes with Rachel Zegler to get deleted, and that is actually happening right now. But number two is that Gal is separating herself from Rachel. She wants nothing to do with defending her, and Rachel has a lot of growing issues with that. This is why there are growing tensions behind the scenes between herself and Gal Gadot. And not just that, but the Disney higher-ups, right? The big wigs over at Disney that are extremely worried about this movie now because they have no idea what to do with this thing. On one end, if they backgirl the thing, they look like a failure. They look like that they have lost and they are giving in to the critics. You know, that's how they feel. The other end of the spectrum is that they can release this thing, they can do all the edits that they want, but it's not going to save this movie and it's really going to taint Disney as a company forever. It really will. So overall, I would really love to hear what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.